day seven began with watching a little TV, grabbing a midnight snack, and then doing the old get naked and squat routine. I then grabbed some soap and started washing my dirty clothes. My logic was that if a zombie manages to injure me, it would be better if my clothes were clean, right? A big reason Civil War troops would die of infection back in the day was from bullets shoving dirty pieces of fabric into their intestines when they were shot. So getting wounded in clean clothes meant better chances for their survival. But who knows? If anybody knows about dirty clothes affecting infection rates, please comment below. As my clothes dried, I read more about how to trap helpless herbivores. As soon as my clothes were dry, I got dressed. I then kept on reading about how to perpetuate PETA's parameters while watching the cooking show. At 7 a.m., I did something that would fundamentally change the rest of this playthrough. I ate a banana. Feeling full of potassium, I went back towards the strip mall. Hopping the fence turned out to be an excellent way to attract the locals, whom I promptly disposed of. and commended for trying. You tried. I commend you for trying. The next point of interest on my radar was the post office. The front door was unlocked, which was nice. Inside, I did the whole quickly open and shut the door routine to see if any zombies were within, and this turned out to be helpful. Although this trick was trivial on the doors with windows, or the rooms that had windows for walls. That being said, I still somehow managed to get scared. Uh. After checking my drawers for a Hershey's Kiss, I found the mother load of books. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. What is that? The fuck is that? After grabbing all of the knowledge that I could, I set off for home, but not before making sure that I was not followed. Once I arrived at home, I quickly realized that my bookshelf did not have the means to accommodate the sheer volume of books that I had acquired, so I moved all the skill books onto these shelves in this closet. My alarm went off, and so it was time for more life and living, earning August another skill point in carpentry. Waiting for my stew to finish cooking, I became stricken with exercise fatigue. But no pain, no gain, as they say, so I powered through and got to squatting. Feeling a little sleepy, I took another nap. After the nap, I added all the survival books to my inventory so I could read the book befitting to whatever was on TV. This turned out to be foraging so I began studying the art of mushroom plucking. Once the show was complete, I grabbed some stew for dinner, got somewhat undressed to avoid overheating in my sleep, made sure my alarm was set, and went off to dreamland. <laughs> 